have all the batteries here. I'm just waiting on a call to get the wiring made up. Now what I'm actually going to do is to have one wire coming from positive going all the way onto negative underneath. I'm going to have one wire from negative, I mean positive, going all the way over to positive. Um, yeah, going all the way over to positive over the top. So there's no chance of them clashing and then the whole string is going to be wired in parallel that way so all the all the terminals are touching the power will flow down the middle cable same for up here and uh, and then off each end i'm going to connect it to a square block that will go here one for positive one for negative and um, i'll parallel the two strings up so that there's a bit more even power flow instead of just taking one from here and taking one from up there and connecting them in parallel down there up to the top. So I'm going I'm to connect them to there and then I'm going to use the original G-Wiz cables to connect up and tuck it up onto the terminals here. So what I've actually found lying around is this aluminium, this, this aluminium uh, bar, well an aluminium angle. So what, what the plan is is to clamp it into here and get some long screws going all the way along here. That will clamp that down onto that side and then I can use the original clamps I was given to clamp it all in on this side. And that should hold everything in place. What I'm also going to do in order to secure this top part, I'm going to get some long coach screws. So they're really thick threads with bolt, with nut, well, with, um, with uh, hexagonal tops rather than uh, crosshead or normal screws. Um, so I'm going to bolt those right down into here. I'm going to put some extra long ones into this side. I'm going to put some shorter ones there. And I'm going to put some extra long ones in the back where there's another double um, bit of wood. So they're going to be well secured. So that's not coming up after all. And then I'll screw everything down onto that. Uh, so yeah, that's the plan see how it goes and um, I just got to nip to the hardware store and get a few parts in order to complete this. I just noticed a little issue that would have happened if I was connecting these later on is that you see how close um, the positive and negative terminals are they're going to be quite big bars going onto these so there's a chance that you might accidentally short the two of them and then and then we'll be in a bit of a problem once we're wiring them in parallel So what I've done is found some really thin bits of plastic. Um, it's from this. It's from this thing. I don't know what to use this for. <laughs> some kind of skirting or whatever. Um, but I've just cut that all up because what these do is slide perfectly into these gaps here, and um, they'll sit. They'll sit in there. They'll sit in there quite happily. Once I've got all of that screwed into there, that sits down onto that. And as you can see now, the terminals are fully separated. So once you've got all of these bolted in, if there's any movement when you're driving, they're not going to touch each other at all. There's a good partition in the way to stop anything shorting out and accidentally putting 120 volts through the GWIS system. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing for now. I realised there was a bit of a flaw in the way they're set up. Now this wouldn't be a problem if you weren't connecting the water system up and had the batteries separate further apart from each other. That wouldn't be a problem at all then. But uh, I'm hooking all them up in order for to get the space as well to get all these modules in. So this should solve the potential problem of shorting them out. Well, um, shorting them out in series when they're already wired in parallel. So there we go, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing for now and uh, that should pave the way for being able to wire everything up flawlessly. The battery put in but I made a little bit of a mistake on this. I stupidly assumed that this would be thick enough or long enough to put two terminals onto each one. However there's only enough to put one so I'm unable to do the string of parallels all the way up there. I'm going to and I've just ordered all of these. What I should have done is had eight. It would have cost more 
cost more, but I should have had eight on there and then parallel them up to all of these eight mil pieces. Now, um, instead, I'm going to have to uh, get more pieces made up just so that it fits into that and parallel them off and have these screwed along the joint like this. So here we go, I've wired, I've wired everything up in the way that I uh, had to do in the end. Now what I've actually done is, I mean I'm going to move this eventually, this is just a test, but the negative is on here for now connecting up to the negative on the battery terminal. That runs through here, this whole string is wired in parallel. Now these little boxes are quite cool because you can wire everything into there and then screw it down nice and firm somewhere. So everything is wired in parallel using um, using some pretty huge wiring that's going to cope with the amps. Now what I've done on the back here is um, inch, uh, it's 25 by 25 mil uh, angle aluminium. Um, this stuff here, just pick it up from B&Q. And I uh, screwed it down here on the side just to hold the batteries in place. It's the same on the other side. And I've got a piece there which goes over a lip on the back of the battery and I used the original clamps to screw it down along this side here. Now um, I had to get washers just to hold the screws in because the holes were too big and uh, what I'm going to do is get some, I've got some coach bolts now, well coach screws, I'm going to screw them down where these screws are and they'll go a lot deeper and what I might do is put something underneath the car to um, clamp everything together because there's some wood under here and if I drill through the wood at the bottom everything's going to be bolted in and it should be should be quite firm. Now excuse the bolt over there they didn't have enough of these in stock so this is just done quickly to test and um, it's going to have another one of these all plugged in so without further ado what I've done is um, disconnected the 12 volt uh, for now, just in case the voltage on here doesn't come out right, but I'm going to check it because Roger doesn't have this connected in his car, so I don't know how putting the higher voltage will end up with the 12 volt coming out. I've also taken the fuse out of here, which powers this little uh, unit there, just in case it can't handle the voltage. So I'm just going to be powering the controller and the charger for now. And uh, so here we go, moment of truth. Now, have we got power? There we go. 58.2 volts, 32% charge. And if I turn the key, actually no, before I do that, I'm just going to bolt this nut up first and then we'll come back to turning the car on. Let's turn the key, see what happens. Well, we have power. That's all good. Now I haven't connected the 12 volt up yet. I'm just going to test that in a moment. Right, so let's test the 12 volt. Oh, that's perfect. 13.7 coming out, which means I can connect the dash to that, no problem. So there we go, we have 12 volt dash all in. So if I turn that on, we should have the blower and then we should have the lights all connected. So that's that part. The moment of truth to see if this DC to DC converter will function. So, so far this uh, little unit is actually working perfectly with the 58 volts going through the batteries. Now we're going to have to see if it can cope with the 67. So once I can get the charger charging up to the 66 volts, then we shall have a look and see if that converter still continues to work. But so far we're all good. We've got 13.8 volts coming through there and all these batteries wired up. So once this is all, once this is all completely, um, done and I'm happy with it and I've got the charger working I'm going to install the last bank across the top and parallel everything up down here and um, that should be our whole battery bank but good news we have 
power and I'm going to carry on with this tomorrow.